Hello, friends. I am so honored to be here with you for this um, Advent study, the devotional. Um, if I have not had the joy of meeting you, which is probably most of you, um, my name is Jen Hand, and I um, have a ministry called Coming Alive Ministries, and I love Advent time. I love the idea of just really in the chaos of Christmas, because heaven knows it gets chaotic. And in the chaos of Christmas, I love the idea of us coming away in the midst of that chaos. And of my ministry name is Coming Alive because that is my passion, is for me to come alive in the moments of every day where Christ invites us to life in Him abundantly. Um, and so I want to enjoy that at Christmas. Oh, by the way, this cute dog is not mine. This is not even my house. I nanny on Wednesdays. And isn't this the cutest little guy? His name is Bleaker, and um, he's going to hang out with us today. So I love the idea of really studying the coming of Christ, the, the way he came, what that means for us. And I chose to um, a verse in Isaiah that is probably not one often thought of when you think of the Christmas story um, for a couple of reasons. One, I have really dug into Isaiah this year. I am writing a book about it. And the more I dug into Isaiah, the more hope I found. Um, when you get past the like 20 chapters that are titled Woe, <laughs> like W-O-A, Woe, and our oracles, um, those are kind of hard to dig through. But in the midst of that, the story of Isaiah is a prophet Isaiah who comes to tell Israel like, in the midst of the hardest of hard, when it seems there's so much darkness, there is light coming. There is redemption coming. There is peace coming. I am working out my glory story. And he sent that message out through Isaiah, who, by the way, occasion like had some hard callings. Like, did you know Isaiah had to walk around barefoot and naked <laughs> for a couple of years? That's in the Bible. Crazy. So aren't you glad God isn't really calling us to that? <laughs> Uh, but um, Isaiah is a story of how um, Isaiah was calling out that there is um, redemption coming. And um, several times in Isaiah, the promises of Jesus are um, proclaimed. And they come forth when Jesus leaves heaven and the glory of heaven bursts forth onto the earth from into a cradle, a manger. And the idea that from the cradle to the cross, God was writing this redemption story that is a part of my story and your story. And in the Christmas story, let's get wrapped up in the promises that have been fulfilled and are still going to be fulfilled. And we're living that story in the pages between um, the last chapters of third John that were written to Revelation. We're in the middle of God's glory story being revealed. So Isaiah 40, I've got it here, and um, I'm just going to read it to you. It says, Isaiah 40, verse 1 through 5. And the title of this is Comfort for God's People. So I don't know where you are today. If you woke up um, feeling overwhelmed, woke up with a jingle in your step and singing your favorite Christmas carol, or if you woke up thinking, how am I going to get it all done? If you woke up thinking, I want to find Christ in Christmas, where is he? The title of this in my Bible, um, which is um, man wrote, writes the subtitles, the titles, headings, but it says comfort for God's people. And I just love that, the idea. This is the promise of comfort. And so today, whatever comfort you need, here we go. Comfort, comfort my people, says your God. Speak tenderly to Jerusalem and cry to her that her warfare is ended, her iniquity is pardoned. She has received from the Lord's hand double for all her sins. And it goes on in verse 3. A voice cries in the wilderness, prepare the way of the Lord. Make straight in the desert a highway for our God. Every valley shall be lifted up and every mountain and hill be made low. The uneven ground will become plain and the rough places a plain and the glory of the Lord shall be revealed and all flesh will see it together for the mouth of the Lord has spoken the glory of the Lord shall be revealed the Christmas story and what we're celebrating not only in the month of December and Advent in the 25 days leading up to Christmas is a story from December to January to March fe um, February skip that April May all the months is a story of how the glory of the Lord was revealed and is still being revealed today as a result of the miracle of what happened 
when Jesus came as he said he would and did what he said he would do. And in your life, he is doing what he promised. He is with you and I on the good days, the best days, the worst days, the better days. And um, this promise, the glory of the Lord shall be revealed. How was the glory of the Lord revealed? He came like he said he was coming. He came in a cradle. I have a little sip of coffee here because I'm getting excited. This isn't my coffee cup either. These are my earrings though, guys. I didn't, these are. This coffee cup and the dog belong to the person I'm aiming for. <laughs> so this Isaiah 40 is actually repeated because this voice crying in the wilderness we find out who that is, and if you turn, and it's in Matthew, but we're going to look in Luke. Um, chapter 3 is who this voice crying in the wilderness was. It's John the Baptist, and John the Baptist um, comes, and he is called by God to prepare the way for Jesus. And so what he, he's literally in a wilderness, um, and it says in Luke chapter 3, um, verse 4 and 5, as it is written in the book of I, the words of Isaiah the prophet, I love when God fulfills the words that were already written hundreds of years before the story actually came to be. The voice of one crying in the wilderness, prepare the way of the Lord, make his path straight. Every valley will be filled and every mountain and hill be laid low. The crooked will become straight, the rough places become level, and all flesh shall see the salvation of God. And John the Baptist came to point the way to what the salvation of God was, and that was Jesus. Sorry, I got distracted. I have a little dog hair on my cup. I'm going to move that. <laughs> a little blinker hair. John the Baptist came to prepare the way for Jesus. And he was pointing the way, and eventually Jesus found him in that wilderness. And John says, here is the Christ that I'm talking about. He's right here. I'm pointing to him, and here he is, the hope of glory. And that is what I love, is that John the Baptist knew he was not, his identity was not, that he was the Christ. He knew his identity was in who Christ was. So he, his role was to point the way even in the wilderness, to the glory of God revealed. Ladies, or a few men, if you happen to be watching, we get to celebrate today that our role is in the midst of the wilderness of life to point the way to Jesus. His glory has been revealed. He has come, and we get to live to testify about it. So I just encourage you today to think about how are you a voice in the wilderness? And how does the Lord's voice want to speak to you if you happen to find yourself in the wilderness? Because the Christmas story is a story of God-ordained details for a God-ordained redemption for your story and my story to be wrapped up in His glory story. Not so that I have to make a name for myself to try to find my identity in anything other than the name above all names, and that is Jesus. Woo! I'm getting preachy, girls. Yeah, Blinker got excited. Yeah! So, just want to remind you, how are you a voice preparing the way for what the Lord is doing? How are you declaring that? And also, are you living up the fact that we have seen the salvation of God through that baby Jesus who came, who grew up, and who ended up doing just what he said he would do. He died. Three days later, he rose again. And in your situation, in your life, he is doing just what he says he will do. He is with us. He is working in us. He has cleansed us from all unrighteousness. And we have a future hope of glory. So girls, go out and be a voice crying in the wilderness. Prepare the way for the Lord. Happy Advent. Merry Christmas, and thank you for joining me as we studied this passage in Isaiah. And Bleaker, too. Yay!